More than a week after Hurricane Irma made landfall in Florida, Key West International Airport has finally reopened. Delta Airlines resumed service there on Wednesday and American Airlines today. This comes as those living in the Keys continue to clean up. Check this out. This is video out of Kudjo Key. Trees and boats litter the roads. Roofs just torn off of homes. And here in Big Pine, refrigerators and couches join piles of debris as residents clean out their flooded homes. As they struggle to clean up, they're relying on volunteers and disaster relief groups for food and supplies. Right now, volunteers from the Rhode Island Red Cross are on their way to Florida to help out. Eyewitness News reporter Erica Ritchie has more. You know, with all the talk about Maria and Jose, it can be very easy to overlook the fact that Hurricane Irma barreled down on Florida just a week and a half ago. And in its wake, there is still so much loss and devastation. But there's a group of Rhode Islanders who haven't forgotten, and they're on their way to help. There's a time and place for everybody. And for Joey Krause of Warwick, this is his time. He throws his bags in the back seat of the Red Cross vehicle parked off of Sandy Lane in Warwick Thursday morning and sets off to help Floridians recover from Hurricane Irma. We're pretty much going to be going down to ground zero um, where people have no electricity, but they're still there trying to fix up their homes and doing what they can. And so we're going to be there to provide them with food, with any sort of assistance that we could possibly provide them. Krause is driving an emergency response vehicle like this one down to some of the hardest hit areas in the Sunshine state. He picked it up at the Red Cross Regional Headquarters in Connecticut after leaving Rhode Island. And that's where he met up with four other Rhode Islanders ready to serve. All of them then headed south, Kraus as a first-time volunteer. Just super excited to see what happens, ready to hit the ground running. But his attitude could change after coming face-to-face -face with the devastation. That's what happened to Sal Coveas of Warwick, who just returned from a two-week Red Cross deployment to Florida. To walk on the ground, to smell the smells in the air, what was that like for you? It was, it was rough. It was an experience Coveas says was softened only by the response of the recipients. There was tons of people thanking me for my service, thanking me for what I was doing down there. And that was a really great feeling to have. For me to actually see it, be, be involved with it, and be part of the story instead of watching the story is going to be a great thing. And those volunteers from Rhode Island will now spend the next two weeks down in Florida rebuilding communities and changing lives. Certainly when they come back, theirs will also be altered as well. In Warwick, Erica Ritchie, Eyewitness News.